आप नॉर्थ ईस्ट के हो मैं मैं नॉर्थ ईस्ट हूँ गुड तो अपने एरिया के बारे में यू कैन शेयर क्या क्या पॉलिसीज एंड प्रोग्राम्स अच्छे से चल रहे हैं ओके मैम ओके नेक्स्ट इज रूरल इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन एज अ प्लान प्रोग्राम रूरल इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन वॉज फर्स्ट इनिशियटेड इन इंडिया अंडर दी फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर प्लान इन 1951 फिफ्टी वन ओनली मैन रूरल इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन वॉज गिवेन इम्पोर्टेंस उसके पहले आपने सुना होगा कि बहुत सारे गाँव अंधेरे ही वो दिया बाती में बहुत नॉट उस समय ही अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आगे भी लाइक टिल एटीज नाइनटीज भी मेनी विलेजेस में देर वॉज नो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी and still there are many villages since then a large section of the rural population has been covered under electricity both in domestic and farming activities so there were <coughs> policies were made, made such to provide them electricity uh, home also and for farming like for irrigation uh, irrigation purpose and all to start the pumps and all for, for all those purposes they do require electricity the rural electrification program is viewed as a prime mover for rural development electricity is classified as a basic amenity along with housing drinking water health and education so it is treated it was treated as the same basic requirement like others things all the rural infrastructure programs which pertain to these basic amenity have been brought together under one umbrella कॉल प्रधानमंत्री ग्रामोदय योजना सो ऑल दिस वेदर इट इज इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन और हेल्थ वाटर सैनिटेशन सैनिटेशन एवरीथिंग एजुकेशन इट वाज इट वाज कवर्ड अंडर वन अम्ब्रेला दैट इज प्रधानमंत्री ग्रामोदय योजना uh government of india from time to time had launched the following programs for electrification of rural areas in the country first was rural electrification under minimum needs program mnp this was started in fifth five year plan with rural electrification as one of the components of the program under this program funds were provided as central assistance to the states in the form of partly grants and partly loans uh they were given grants also and loans also to improve the condition of electricity in their states since the inception of the mnp the component that relates to rural electrification had been set off against the loan component of mnp the areas covered under the mnp for the purpose of rural electrification were remote far flung and difficult villages with low load potential so under this program like the areas which were too far off jahan shayad pahunchti bhi na ho electricity un area ko they covered and low load potential first they started they began with the area where less load of electricity was required the as rural electrification itself is an un remunerative program under mnp it is more unrenewative the like a state uh, it is for the uh rural development purpose and it was for poor people so uh, there was uh, it it has it was not the source of income for the state uh and especially under mnp the minimum because it was under a uh, minimum rate program so uh, the state was uh, not getting any revenue from that in the beginning loans were made available at interest rates lower than the funds provided under the budgetary support for rural electrification by government of india however over a period of time rate of interest charged under the mnp and the normal budgetary support made equal so rate of interest they had to increase so that they get some uh, income from that with the result that uh, uh, state electricity boards had to bear the burden of higher rate of interest for these uneconomical programs therefore the scheme has been discontinued from 2004 because aapne suna hoga many states uh, they like 
uh, they had loans central ka and they were not able to pay it off uh, and uh, the electricity produced also was not uh, in abundance so uh, there was uh, like they were they were not able to earn like get the revenue from this uneconomic source and that's why it was discontinued in 2004 and has been subsequently merged with the new scheme rajiv gandhi gramin vidyut karan yojana and it was merged with the new scheme because it it came under minimum need program and it was a total loss for the state instead they were overburdened with loans from the center pradhan mantri uh, Uh, Gramodaya Yojana (PMGY). This scheme was launched in 2000-2001, but rural electrification component was added in the next financial year, uh, 2001-2002. It was implemented by the State Electricity Board, Electricity Department, Power Utilities, which were designated as implementing agencies. Funds were being released by the state government to the implementing. agencies funds were given to the these boards for the implementing the rural uh, rural electrification program funds under the programs were provided to the state as additional central assistance it was uh, uh, not uh, in the main thing it was as uh, like given as an additional central assistance for these uh, for the electrification purpose which followed the normal pattern of central assistance that is 90% grant and 10% loan for special category states like uh, north eastern states or the jammu kashmir uh, states for these special category states uh, it was more than the other states 30% grant and 70% uh, loan for other states difficulties were faced under this scheme on account of no clear cut a uh, marking of percentage of funds for rural electrification the state had discretion of utilizing the funds for different components as per their own priorities and this why that is why this uh policy phase problem because the state was uh, using these funds for different as uh, no uh, like clear cut thing was not there that this fund has to be allotted uh, this fund has to be used for the Uh, electrification purpose only so they used for different purpose depending on their priority according to the need of their state uh third yojana was kutir jyoti yojana this program was launched in 1988 89 to provide single point light connection to households so that one connection is there in each household of rural families below the poverty line including harijans and adivasi's family then accelerated rural electrification program arep this scheme was introduced in the year 2003 2004 under which interest subsidy of 4% was to be provided on loan availed by the state governments power utilities from financial institutions like rural electrification corporation rec subsidy was given power finance corporation pfc rural infrastructure development fund rifd national agricultural bank and rural development bank for carrying out rural electrification program so subsidy was given on loans the assistance was limited to electrification of unelectrified village those like jo maine kaha pehle jin villages mein bajli thi hi nahi for those villages first priority was given electrification of hamlets uh, dalits bastis tribal villages uh, jo bastis hoti thi for that and electrification of household in villages through both conventional and non conventional sources of energy so that the conventional sources like uh, today solar uh, energy is very much in so electrification was from both conventional and non conventional source of energy funds were provided on the basis of uh, net present value nvp of the interest subsidies applicable on distribu- uh, disbursements so uh, funds were allocated on the basis of the uh, net present value 
uh, accelerated uh, electrification of 1 lakh villages and 1 crore households governments of india in 2004-2005 launched scheme accelerated ex electrification of 1 lakh villages so their main motive was to electrify 1 lakh villages in this scheme and 1 crore household were to be covered under this by merging the interest subsidy scheme arep and kuttu jyoti program so they merged these two schemes so that more and more people uh, got uh, benefit from this and uh, the funds were allotted uh, at the at one place not for different programs so that uh, the judicial use of the funds were made under this scheme there was a provision for providing 40 percent capital subsidy for rural electrification pro uh, projects and the balance as loan assistance on soft term from rec so subsidy was given and uh, the, the soft term loan that means the loan were not like very they had to pay less interest and all for that then comes rajiv gandhi gramin vidyutikaran yojana this scheme of rural electricity infrastructure and household electrification has been introduced in april 2005 for achieving the national common minimum program objective nm nmp program objective of providing access to electricity to all rural households over a period of four years so they had a target of four years to cover all the rural households under rajiv gandhi vidyutikaran yojana the rural electrification corporation rec will be nodal agency for the program the main agency to for this pro, to implement this program was uh, rural electrification corporation under this scheme 90 percent capital subsidy will be provided for re projects for creation of rural electricity distribution backbone redp with 133 uh, 11 kv or 66 has 11 kv substation in every block and uh, where it does not exist so substation was made in every block block wise like district and block level so in every block there has to be one substation creation of village electricity infrastructure vei for electrification of all unelectrified villages habitations and provision of distribution uh, transformers of appropriate capacity in every village so Proper infrastructure was taken care of and one uh, transform motion uh, uh, like transformers of uh, capacity which is required by the villages were installed. Decentralized distribute, uh, distributed generation, DDG and supply system from conventional source for villages habitation where grid supply is not cost effective and where ministry of non-conventional energy source would not be providing electricity through their programs balance 10 percent uh, will be loan assistance on short terms by rec the scheme inter alia provides for financing of electrification of all unelectrified below poverty line bpl household in all rural habitation in the country with 100% capital subsidy. So those uh, villages, they got 100% subsidy. So that uh, the electrification of uh, these villages uh, and uh, like, uh, they all the people below living below poverty line, they get electricity. So these were the programs for uh, rural electrification. Uh, this is end for today class. Ma'am, uh, synopsis approval ke baare mein puchna tha. Ye saare answer aapke Smriti ma'am uh, ek session rakhenge and she will uh, reply. क्योंकि आप मैंने जो रिवाइज सिलेबस आपका देखा है ऑनलाइन का उसमें तो मुझे किसी में भी डिसर्टेशन नहीं दिखा है नहीं एलएमएस पे है मैम हमारा फर्स्ट ईयर में है फर्स्ट ईयर में एलएमएस पे दिया हुआ है दिया हुआ है मैम कौन-कौन से पेपर हैं आपके एलएमएस में फर्स्ट ईयर में 
एलएमएस में एक मिनट में मैं भूल गया देख रहा था एमआरडी वन जीरो एमआरडी वन एमआरडी टू थ्री थ्री एंड जीरो जीरो फोर एंड उसके साथ ये भी है प्रोजेक्ट भी है प्रोजेक्ट भी है सी आपका विच बैच यू आर फ्रॉम लाइक जुलाई के हो या जुलाई 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 के हो तो फिर तो आपके पास टाइम है मैम नेक्स्ट मंथ में जिनका जनवरी बैच है उनका मुझे लगता है डेट अप हो गया है तो नेक्स्ट टाइम दे कैन सबमिट और आप लोग के पास टाइम है सो मैम एक सेशन लेंगे स्मृति मैम आपके साथ ऑन ऑल दिस क्वेरीज फिर वो आपको अपडेट करेंगे क्योंकि मुझे अभी इसके बारे में आइडिया नहीं है अबाउट सिनॉप्सिस वगैरह आपका सिनॉप्सिस अप्रूवल के लिए आपका गाइड एक होना चाहिए कौन आपको गाइड कौन गाइड है मैं हूँ कि नहीं मुझे अभी पता नहीं है ओके okay, फिर मैं होंगी तो फिर मैं चेक करके आपको अप्रूवल दूंगी एंड फिर आप उस प्रोजेक्ट पे काम करेंगे ओके मैम ठीक है हाँ मैम हमारा सब्जेक्ट एम आर डी जीरो फोर एम आर डी टू जीरो वन एम आर डी टू जीरो टू टू जीरो थ्री एंड एम आर डी पी जीरो जीरो वन डिजर्टेशन ऑब्लिक प्रोजेक्ट वर्क ओके तो मतलब फोर तक है लेकिन दूसरे में है एम आर डी वन जीरो वन वन जीरो टू वन जीरो थ्री वन जीरो फोर और एक डेजर्टेशन है आपका फर्स्ट ईयर यस मैम यस मैम यस मैम और सेकेंड ईयर में आपका वो होगा फोर मोर पेपर्स यस मैम है ना उसमें कुछ ऑप्शनल होंगे और कुछ मोर पेपर्स होंगे पहले के कोर्स से आपका रिवाइज करके थोड़ा शॉर्ट कर दिया है पहले से काफी कम है आपका यस मैम तो आपके ऑफलाइन ऑफलाइन में ज्यादा कोर्स ऑफलाइन में थोड़ा ज्यादा कोर्सेस है शायद मैंने देखा था ऑफलाइन ऑफलाइन वाला का नहीं, नहीं वो बैच के हिसाब से है पहले के बैच और आपके बैच के हिसाब से है तो अभी का जो उनका भी बैच होगा उनका भी सेम कोर्स है कोर्स सेम होता है सिर्फ ऑनलाइन और ऑफलाइन मोड होता है ओके मैम ओके मैम ठीक है तो उसके लिए मैम आप किसी के साथ अलग से क्लास करेंगे और फिर आपको वो बताएंगे एंड फिर कल विल कवर एम आर डी टू जीरो टू विल स्टार्ट विद डैट अभी okay. आपके साथ मेरे आई सपोज सेवन क्लास हो गए ना फाइव मोर क्लासेस आई थिंक होंगे विच इन विच विल कवर ऑल दी टॉपिक्स एम आर डी वन जीरो वन का एंड एम आर डी टू जीरो टू का वन जीरो सॉरी वन जीरो टू का ठीक है, so shall we leave now? Yes, uh, question in a group we can share by एंड विद दीज टू ब्लॉक्स आई डोट नो वेन दर्ड ब्लॉक लाइक क्लासेस दे विल अरेज फॉर maybe before diwali or maybe after diwali i am not there from 11 to 22 so if uh, someone else will take then i don't know if i am taking then it will be after 22 uh, maybe one more block we will cover before diwali fourth block will be covering after that only so all the three blocks will be covered right it's good if we get off in a diwali ah uh, of course you will get that उट Okay then. Ah, uh, we'll meet tomorrow. Thank you, ma'am. New block M R D. Ah, two zero two. Okay. Bye bye. Good night, all of you. Good night, ma'am. Good night, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. of the server all to come